What's up everybody? This is Silver Star of the Ghost Core, and today we will be discussing the possible prismatics in the upcoming set, Chaos Impact. These are based on speculation, so take them with a bit of skepticism. With that out the way, let us begin. The prismatic rares in the core set appear to be a card from each rarity besides common. Three also appear to be relatively useful cards for various decks, while one is for a specific deck. Using this, we can try to predict the most likely options for prismatic cards and predict their prices on release. For Secret Rare, the top pick is Marincess Blue Tang. It is an important combo piece for the deck and could potentially push the deck into the meta. It would also match with Marincess Seahorse, a prismatic from the previous set. Based on this, I believe its price around release will be $300 during pre-sales, but will stabilize around $180 after initial hype. Two other cards with potential would be Starleach Seifert and Unchained Soul to Disaster. Seifert is an amazing support card for Chaos Dragon decks, Dragon Link, or Thunder Dragons to start or extend their plays. It has a lot of potential and great flexibility as a searcher. Soul of Disaster is a core member of the new Unchained or Hakai archetype that allows you to link summon using your opponent's monsters. Similar to Marincess, the archetype is highly sought after and has higher rarities for important cards, so it's probable that a rarity bump could be mirrored. For ultra rares, the top pick in my opinion is IP Masquerina. This is a relatively generic link monster with the effect to link summon on your opponent's turn. This allows you to dodge certain effects like Effect Veiler or have a form of removal during the turn like Nightmare Unicorn. Plenty of decks are able to utilize it and, and it has suitable arrows for other plays as well. Its price will be around 250 initially, but will slowly drop to 150 with its lack of usage. Draco Berserker of Tenyi and Unchained Abomination also have a chance of being prismatic. Unchained Abomination has an easy summoning condition similar to the Topologics and has an effect that is easy to activate. With cards like Mind Control, you can bring them out easier and can possibly pop problem cards up to twice a turn. Draco is a generic synchro that can banish a monster when its effect activates, removing a body and in some cases, preventing the effect from resolving. It also helps by clearing the board, increasing its attack, and attacking another monster after destroying one. Both are very useful cards with, with board clearing potential and the ability to disrupt the opponent. For super rares, the top pick is Gizmek Yada the Gleaming Vanguard. It is an interesting card that allows you to normal summon again immediately with it and gain 2000 life but locks you into the attributed monster's original type for the turn. It can work in decks like Cyber Dragon or those who use the same type, but doesn't have a specific use at the current moment. This would start around 150, but bottom out around 90 due to its lack of usage and better alternatives. Other options could be Galaxy Satellite Dragon or Peaceful Barrier. The former is Galaxy or Blue Eye support that can enable OTKs or put a card you need on top of the deck during the opponent's end phase. The latter is a trap version of Foolish Burial but you cannot activate cards or effects of the monster sent during that turn. While not bad, it's slow for the current game, but allows for setup on your turn. While neither are explicitly bad, they are more niche and have places in specific decks. Last but not least, the rares. The top pick is Hop Ear Squadron. This is a hand trap that allows you to synchro summon using your opponent's monster as material. This is a great form of disruption to not only remove a combo piece, but also have a body on field that can interrupt their plays. While this is reliant on your opponent and can be prediction based, it can be devastating and have a large impact for their turn. It could start around $200, would drop towards $100 without a, good, without a good deck or enough representation to support it. Other alternatives for the spot include Jelly Cannon and Spiritual Enemy Contain. Jelly Cannon targets and shuffles back a monster on field when a monster declares an attack. While the most common use will be to bounce back an opponent's monster, you can also return your own during either player's turn. This can help you retain resources or protect from destruction during a crucial moment. While not the best card, it has its uses. Containment is a spell that lets you target and banish an opponent's monster until the end phase. Short and simple. Not the most effective form of board clearing, but can catch and negate from various cards and allow for you to possibly end the game from a good position. Not the greatest, but can be an underrated card with potential for the future. That's the video. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more and leave a comment for anything you think I missed or could change for the next video. This is Silverstar of the Ghost Core signing off.